Well, now let's welcome our uh, first guest to our show. He's got a brand new uh, store in Jackson called The Cork and Cap. Please welcome Jack Trevioli. Hi, Jack. Good to see you. Nice to meet you, man. Welcome to the show. Today, today I drove by the, the, the store. I had some people point you out in the parking lot. Oh, really? Oh, I, I, was, I was spying on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't have a chance to run in. I was kind of running late. I just wanted to swing by and see where you were. And you're in a brand new building. Tell us uh, where you're located. Uh, I'm on Wildwood Avenue. Uh, for people who know Jackson, I'm just a little bit east of Shaw Furniture, uh, a little bit west of Wisner, in a new uh, Rothfield Place, or Roth, Rothbury Place shopping center. And it's, uh, I think if people, uh, perhaps the, the landmark everyone knows is the dairy. Right. And you're a little bit east of yeah. that. In that area. And that plaza is filling up fast. There's, what, now four businesses in there? There are four, and there are four new units coming in. Bob Doyle is uh, uh, working on that, uh, and I expect, and he expects that those will be filling up sometime this spring. Good. Well, what's the uh, cork and cap? Well, uh, it was my feeling that it was time for Jackson to have their own full-service wine merchant. Mm -hmm. uh, I, myself, along with uh, many of my friends here in town, uh, have been involved in uh, wine tasting clubs for a number of years and uh, have been on trips to Europe and other places quite frequently to visit wineries and we're all true wine connoisseurs I guess or we're wine fans I would I better say uh, but many of us were finding that we weren't able to find a variety that we were looking for or weren't able to uh, make arrangements to have special orders placed for us very easily. So I thought it would be a good time for Jackson with the uh, health benefits of red wine being uh, in the papers almost every day. Uh, there's more people drinking wine now. Uh, there are more wines uh, available that are uh, very affordable, uh, good values throughout the world. So uh, rather than uh, having to leave town to do that, I thought it would be the right time for uh, a store that would feature wines in the mid-range, which would be primarily $8 to $20 range, mm -hmm. uh, that are appears or uh, perceived to be good value for the money. But also on top of that, uh, be able to place custom orders for people who have a specific item in mind that they're not able to find locally. If it's available in Michigan, I should be able to track it down. And then also uh, I put together a sale catalog every month that would have uh, wines that are on sale through the distribution channels that I work through uh, that I've, I've put together aggressive pricing on mm -hmm. so that each month there will be something fresh in that catalog. Will you have wines? Because we've got a few wineries in Jackson County now. Will mm -hmm. you have uh, any local wines in the store? As a matter of fact, I carry representative wines from all of the entire Pioneer Wine Trail. Uh, I've been working with uh, uh, Lone Oak and Cherry Creek and, and, and all of them, and I've put together a selection of each of their, uh, several of each of their wines. And I believe I'm the only store in existence that carries all wines from the Pioneer Wine Trail. I bet you are. And so <laughs> I think so many of these are, are new wines and new wineries that they, they just are getting the distribution out. I think uh, Holly at Sand Hill Crane mentioned that I was the first store to carry her wine outside mm -hmm. of uh, their outlet, which is north of the lake there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Near East Jackson Middle School mm -hmm. is where it is. Well, I think we've, with that, we're getting perhaps a reputation uh, of being a wine region, southern lower Michigan and along I-94. And it looks like when you look at the Pioneer Wine Trail that really Jackson is the, the epicenter of that. It seems to be just a right combination of, uh, of climate for uh, a lot of the wines that are being grown here. In fact, I've, I've planted 100 vines myself, and I've been uh, making wine with uh, some friends of mine, including somebody you might know, uh, Daniel Lynette, oh, yeah. uh, who uh, works at the St. Julian out in Parma. Uh, we've been uh, winemaking hobbyists for a while. I hope to eventually uh, carry a line of wine and winemaking and beer making supplies to go along with my specialty foods, which I brought some today. Well, I've always been surprised that years, years and years ago, we did have a wine store in 
Jackson Crossing, then Paco Plaza. What was the name of it, Wendell? You'd know. The uh, wine, the, the wine. What's it, the wine the cellar? The wine cellar? What's that? Well, I've always been surprised that nobody uh, stepped in and, and uh, took over that, that uh, specialty uh, business, having just wines or specializing in wines. Now, you sound very knowledgeable about wines, and I think a lot of people, when they see the, the, the shelves loaded with wines, how do you know? Are your people that uh, you have in the store able to help point out what is good for what and what? Is <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that right now I'm somewhat a one-man band. So I'm there, except for today, uh, every opening hour uh, for the time being. Uh, I've been to over 100 wineries all over the world. Uh, it's been a passion of mine for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wouldn't say that I know everything about wines, but uh, I, I try to match uh, the food that someone might be eating with a, a wine, or uh, they may be looking for a particular Chardonnay, and I might not have that Chardonnay, but I have one that may be from the same region and might be very similar. Uh, I, I've divided the store up into uh, regions, so if you're one who likes California wines or Australian wines, there's an area right where you can go. Uh, but there'll, there'll be a situation where somebody needs guidance that might like Rieslings, for example. Mm -hmm. Well, Rieslings are made everywhere. They're made here in Michigan. They're made in Australia, New Zealand, uh, in Europe, in Germany. So those are scattered around, and that's where sometimes I step in to help people find what they're looking for in the, in the price range and, and uh, the type of wine they desire. Well, that the, I guess the wine explains the the cork part of your name, but right. you're also in cap, and you don't just have beverages. But I know you carry quite a bit of uh, other specialty foods. Right, uh, the cap obviously uh, has to do with beer. I've put together a selection of European beers and Michigan microbrews specifically, and have a cooler that I plan to keep filled, where uh, the customer can come in and pick their own six pack, and and that's. Uh, something that's new to the Jackson area mm -hmm. that I think that I've enjoyed when I've seen it and wanted to bring that to everybody here. So you mix and match, you can try one of this and two of that. And right. Oh. <laughs> uh, Apparently that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a popular feature of the store, Jack. And I, I plan to uh, try to keep seasonal with that. In the winter there, there are more stouts and then as we get into summer I'll, I'll go toward lighter beers. Uh, but strictly the, those two categories are what I'm planning on concentrating on. Also, uh, you mentioned that my food. I brought some examples today of some things that I carry. Uh, I've uh, brought in breads from the Stonehearth Bread Company in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I'm carrying their breads. Uh, they have uh, fantastic breads for, for those of you who have not tried them. Uh, and I brought a couple items that you might not normally see in the uh, the local stores here that uh, thought maybe you'd like to try or, uh, or, or get a good view of. I also brought uh, an example of some beverages that are new to Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know. Uh, they're made by uh, Boylan Bottle Works. They are, that is the, is that the cola? No, this is the cola. I was looking for a cola that was still in a glass bottle and was made with cane sugar because most of the colas nowadays are made with corn syrup. And that was one that I found that's available in Michigan and I really enjoyed their product and I've decided to carry their entire line of products. Mm. Uh, if you uh, think back in, uh, in your childhood memories, you might remember uh, having an orange crush or uh, grape knee high and I brought those two to show you that those are very similar uh, to what you might remember if you want to open one of those and try it. Uh, well, sure. You, you might find that brings back a memory. Uh, the uh, the uh, cola also... Luckily I have a bottle opener. They also twist off. Oh, uh, well, i, I got to use the bottle opener. Is there a <laughs> bottle opener on this? Did George send over a bottle opener? This is... Uh, I've got my... One of these must do handy bottle opener. Swiss Army ah, Look at that. Oh, there you go. There's oh, no beer and wine able... samples for the audience today. <laughs> I would love to have brought some. <laughs> See, Christian, the white shirt problem? <laughs> Pretty soon you might, you, yeah. might, you might have a point. 
Mm, that's great, delicious. <clears throat> yeah, it's really good. Now, this company sounds familiar. Are they from the east? Because mm -hmm. I'm from Vermont, Jack, and I, I, I seem to remember this company. They've been around uh, over 100 years. Hmm. Yeah, it's very grapeish. And I, have, uh, you know, when the, the corn syrup the, in the soda pop, it, I can feel it. It's not a good feeling. So maybe it's, maybe it's the sugar, the old sugar that we want to have. No, I like this. I'll keep this. <laughs> oh, someone asked, any chance cork and cap will have Delaware punch? I'm not familiar with Delaware punch. What is Delaware punch? Well, I don't think you need Delaware. Just get a grape, uh, boiling, boiling grape. Can you mix and match these? Sure. And in fact, uh, they're in the cooler with the beer right now, and you can, you can mix beer and pop together into a six-pack if you like.